Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss the chapter Crop Production and Management Class 7. So let us start with the class with what we already know. We already know that all living organisms, they require food, right? The energy from the food is utilized by the organism for carrying out various life processes, such as I'm eating a food, I'm eating my food and I get energy out of it. And because, for, because of that energy, my digestion process is happening, respiration is happening, excretion is happening. So the energy from the you, food is utilized to carry out life processes. Plants, they can also make their food by themselves. But animals, including us like humans, we cannot make our food. We can cook it, but we cannot produce it. We cannot make it. So we get our food from the plants or from the animals or we can say from both plants and animals, both, right? These are the things which we already know. Now, I have two really very cute pictures on my screen. I want you to think about these two pictures. What is happening here? See, in the first picture, the boy is planting something, right? So what is it? What is going on here? planting of crop right in the other picture shows that maturation of the crop then we have the grains in our hand bundles are packed right these are pictures related to what crop production so today the chapter we are going to start is crop production and management that is class 8 ncrt now let's discuss what is a crop how do we define a crop yes we can say that plants of the same kind that are grown and that are cultivated as a source of food in a large cultivable land is called a crop. When I plant something in my, in my kitchen garden, one plant or two plant, that is not a crop. Crop is when I cultivate it on a very big land and my purpose is as a source of food, I'm producing it on a very big land. It is grown on a large scale. That is a crop, right? So when I have plants of the same kind grown and cultivated as a source of food on a large land is the crop. Now moving ahead. Mm, yes, what is agriculture? How do we define agriculture? It is applied branch of biology which deals with cultivation of plants. What is agriculture? It's a branch of biology which talks about cultivation of plants and rearing of animals. Yani, janwaro ka palan karna aur podho ko, plants ko ugana, unko cultivate karna. That is agriculture. What we generally think is agriculture ke andar podhe ugana, crops ugana aata hai. We don't really think about rearing of animals. But that also comes under agriculture. Generally, the art of practice of cultivating land is referred as agriculture and the branch of agriculture which deals with food health and management of animals is what a small branch called animal husbandry okay so that is animal husbandry now let us talk about the different types of crops we have the different types of crop we have kharif crops we have uh, rabi crops so let us understand them Kharif crops are known as the monsoon or the rainy season crops, which we, which is the time like June to September. For example, the maize, millet, that is bajra and cotton crops. They are all Kharif crops. What are examples? See here, rice, corn, sugarcane, soya bean, groundnut and cotton. These are examples of Kharif crop. And the Rabi crops are one which are called the winter season crops or the October to March time. For example, the wheat, gram, chana, mustard, kya hota hai? Mustard? Yes, sarso, wheat, oats, mustard, chickpea, almond, broccoli. These are examples of rabi crops. Now, there is this third category also that is called zad crops or the summer crops. Jo ki hume summer season mein milti hai khane ke liye zada. These crops are grown in the summer season. They are zed crops. For example, moong, muskmelon, watermelon, cucumber, 
गॉड बिट गॉड दीज आर ऑल जैद क्रॉप यू मस्ट हैव सीन गर्मियों के मौसम में बहुत सारे खीरे आते हैं वाटर मेलन आता है मस्क मेलन आता है राइट बिकॉज दे आर जैद क्रॉप सो वी हैव द क्रॉप बेस्ड ऑन द सीजन इन विच दे आर ग्रोन खरीफ को कब बोते हैं इन द मानसून जैद को बोते हैं समर में राबी को बोते हैं विंटर के अंदर सो खरीफ आर प्लांटेड इन द जून एंड हार्वेस्टेड इन द अक्टूबर जैद क्रॉप आर प्लांटेड समवॉट इन द मार्च ताकि गर्मी तक वो रेडी हो जाए दे आर हार्वेस्टेड इन द जून राबी क्रॉप आर वॉट प्लांटेड इन द विंटर दैट इज नोवेम्बर एंड देर हार्वेस्टेड लेटर ऑन वंस द विंटर इज ओवर लाइक अप्रिल वी कैन से राइट नाउ दिस इज वॉट प्लांट उगाना नाउ आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू थिंक अबाउट द स्टेप्स फॉर यू नो ग्रोइंग अ प्लांट प्लांट को बोने के लिए उगाने के लिए देर आर सर्टन स्टेप्स विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस सो लेट्स डू सम गार्डनिंग राइट आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव डन सम सो क्या करते हैं सबसे पहले वेन यू वॉन्ट टू डू गार्डनिंग और वेन यू वॉन्ट टू यू नो ग्रो अ क्रॉप नॉट अ क्रॉप लेट्स ए प्लांट द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप इज प्रेपरेशन ऑफ द सॉइल हम पहले मिट्टी को प्रिपेयर करते हैं आफ्टर दैट वी एड द सीड इन इट दैट इज द सोइंग प्रोसेस राइट हम बीज बोते हैं उसके अंदर After that we add manure or fertilizers in it. हम खाद वगैरह डालते हैं After that irrigation पानी डालते हैं सब पौधों में अपने हमने जो भी बोया उसके अंदर we add water to it. And after that we also protect it from the weeds. उसमें जंगली घास कुछ भी जंगली पौधा उग रहे हैं वी रिमूव इट दीज आर द स्टेप्स राइट सो वी कॉल दैम द बेसिक प्रैक्टिस ऑफ क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द सॉइल पहले आप मिट्टी पे प्रिपेयर करते हो फिर आप उसमें बीज को डालते हो आप अपना मैन्योर और फर्टिलाइजर्स डालते हो खाद डालते हो पानी डालते हो यू प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रॉम द वीड्स देन व्हेन जब योर प्लांट्स आर रेडी आप उन्हें हार्वेस्ट कर लेते हो और यस हार्वेस्ट करने के बाद वी स्टोर इट इन अ प्रॉपर प्लेस एज वेल राइट अच्छा सो so यहाँ पे एक टर्म आता है दैट इज प्रोटेक्टिंग फ्रॉम वीड्स तो ये वीड्स होता क्या है वीड्स आर द प्लांट्स विच आर कंसिडर्ड अनडिजायरेबल जो हमारे लिए डिजायरेबल नहीं है in a particular situation the plant which is in the wrong place right now for example main kuch maine kuch boya usme agar uske alawa kuch aur ek different plant hai that is considered as a weed aap logo ne apne garden mein dekha hoga kai bar ghas ug jate hain they are all weeds they are unnecessary so hum unko nikal ke fek dete hain right yes now when we talk about crop production there are some things that we need for it agricultural implements so we have the plow sabse purana sabse acha the plow jisko hum hal bhi kehte hain iske andar some parts are there the plow shaft is there the plow share is there and there is also a beam jis pe hum usko support karte hain ya attach karte hain now it is used from the very very ancient times for tilling the soil tilling matlab soil ko upar upar se khodne ke liye then adding fertilizers hum usme fertilizers bhi add kar sakte hain कई बार हम उसे वीड्स रिमूव करने के लिए भी यूज करते हैं और सॉइल को जनरली टर्न करने के लिए मतलब ऊपर से ऐसे से खोदने के लिए इट इज जनरली मेड अप ऑफ वुड और जनरली इट इज यू नो ड्रॉन बाय एनिमल्स कोई भी एनिमल हम यूज कर सकते हैं बुल हॉर्स कैमल आप लोगों ने देखा भी होगा हल देन द नेक्स्ट इज हो इट इज यूज फॉर रिमूविंग वीड्स एंड अगेन लूजनिंग द सॉइल मिट्टी को ढीला करने के लिए देन अ कल्टिवेटर I'm sure you all have seen cultivators in movies or pictures or TV or you know books. It is used for plowing the field. बहुत ही simple तरी से हम field को plow कर सकते हैं अगर आपका field बहुत बड़ा है land बहुत ज़्यादा है then with the help of a tractor आप उसे चलाइए बहुत जल्दी ही कम time के अंदर आपका अच्छे से आपका जो land है वो plow हो जाएगा right so I have a video that uh, I wanted to play here, but I think there was some error in the video. We can't watch it. So that's it from for today's class, students. What we have learned. Let's quickly do a recap of that. We learned about what are crops. So in a very simple way, I can define crop as the plants of same kind that are grown and cultivated as source of food in a large cultivable land. That is a crop. A plow kya tha? It's a agricultural implement. made with wood and is used since ancient time this is called plow and what do we call them the unwanted and undesirable plants think about it exactly we call them weeds 
And last is some example of kharif crops. Think about it. We have groundnut, maize, and paddy. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining the, uh, I mean, watching the video. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.